Welcome to my channel, Hotspot with Loveth, the ultimate spot for all things entertainment, ranging from celebrity gists, reviews, interesting stories, and African folktales. Subscribe now. Michael Johnson was the quintessential helpless romantic. At 28, he had a heart full of dreams and a head full of grand gestures. He believed in love at first sight, serendipitous encounters, and the kind of romance that existed in fairy tales. His friends often teased him about his teary-eyed view of love. But Michael remained undeterred. He was convinced that when he found the one, all the elaborate plans and romantic gestures would be worth it. His eyes had recently fallen on Lily Adams, a bright, vivacious woman that he had met at a mutual friend's party. She had a smile that lit up the room and a laugh that made Michael's heart skip a bit. From that moment, Michael was smitten. He knew he had to ask her out. And when she agreed to go on a date with him, he decided to plan something truly spectacular. Michael spent days meticulously planning the perfect first date. He wanted everything to just be right, hoping to sweep Lily off her feet. Now, he arranged a private dinner on a rooftop garden, complete with fairy lights and a live string quartet, and a menu featuring all kinds of dishes. He even planned a series of thoughtful surprises throughout the evening, all designed to show Lily how much he cared and how attentive he was to her likes and dislikes. As the day approached, Michael's excitement grew. He enlisted the help of his best friend David to ensure everything went smoothly. David was amused by Michael's elaborate plans but was also touched by his friend's earnestness. He agreed to play the role of the unseen orchestrator and showing everything behind the scenes went off without a hitch. The day of the date arrived and Michael was a bundle of nerves. He wanted everything to be perfect. He arrived at the rooftop early, making sure every detail was in place. The fairy lights twinkled, the quartet was tuning their instruments, and the table was set beautifully. When Lily arrived, she was visibly impressed by the setup. Michael's heart soared as he saw her smile. This is amazing, Michael. She said, her eyes sparkling. Michael smiled, feeling a rush of pride. I'm glad you like it. I really wanted this night to be special, Lily. They sat down and the evening began wonderfully. The quartet played softly in the background and the first chorus was served. Michael and Lily talked and laughed, finding common ground and enjoying each other's company. Michael felt a sense of triumph. All his planning was paying off. As the main course was being served, things started to go awry. The waiter who was supposed to serve Lily's favorite dish brought the wrong order. Lily, trying to be polite, didn't say anything. But Michael noticed her hesitation. I'm so sorry, Lily. This isn't what I ordered for you. Michael said, waving the waiter to correct the mistake. The waiter, flustered, apologized and promised to fix it. Michael felt a pang of frustration, but kept his composure. It's just a small hiccup, he assured Lily, who smiled and assured him it was fine. Unfortunately, the wrong order was just the beginning. The string quartet midway through a beautiful rendition of Lily's favorite song suddenly stopped playing. One of the musicians had broken a string, and they needed time to fix it. As Michael tried to keep the conversation flowing, the fairy lights flickered and went out, plunging the rooftop into semi-darkness. David, watching from the sidelines, rushed to find the source of the problem. Meanwhile, Michael tried to make light of the situation. Well, at least, we have the moonlight. He joked, trying to keep the mood a bit. Lily laughed, appreciating his effort. It's okay, Michael. Sometimes things don't just go as planned. Despite the setbacks, Michael felt a surge of affection for Lily. She was handling the chaos with grace, making him want to impress her even more. As the night progressed, the biggest blunder of all occurred. Michael had arranged for a surprise fireworks display, hoping to end the evening with a bang. However, Due to a miscommunication with the fireworks company, the display started too early, right in the middle of their dessert. The sudden explosions of light and sound startled both Michael and Lily, causing them to spill their drinks. Michael jumped up, trying to control the situation. But it was too late. The fireworks were already lightening up the sky in a dazzling but untimely show. Lily, now covered in red wine and slightly shaken, looked at Michael with a mix of surprise and amusement. 
I think the universe is trying to tell us something, she said laughing, despite the chaos. Michael, seeing her laugh, felt a wave of relief. Maybe it's telling us that we should just go with the flow, he said, joining in the laughter. With the night's plans in disarray, Michael decided to embrace the unexpected. He and Lily moved away from the table and found a spot on the rooftop where they could watch the fireworks without worrying about the mess. They sat down together, and Michael pulled out a blanket he had brought just in case. As they watched the fireworks, Michael turned to Lily. I'm sorry tonight didn't go as planned. I wanted it to be perfect. Lily smiled, her eyes reflecting the colors of the fireworks. It was perfect, Michael. Not because everything went right, but because you cared enough to plan all this. That means more to me than anything. Michael felt a rush of gratitude and affection. Thank you, Lily. That means a lot to me. They sat in comfortable silence, watching the fireworks and enjoying the moment. Despite all the mishaps and misunderstandings, the night had turned out to be memorable in its own way. The next morning, Michael woke up feeling both relieved and anxious. He replayed the events of the previous night in his mind, hoping that Lily still saw the effort behind the chaos. He decided to send her a text, wanting to make sure she was okay. Good morning, Lily. I hope you had a good time last night despite everything. I'd love to see you again if you're up for it. He hit send and waited, his heart pounding. A few minutes later, his phone burst with a reply. Good morning, Michael. I had a wonderful time and I'd love to see you again too. Let's plan something more low-key next time. Michael breathed a sigh of relief, a smile spreading across his face. He replied, That sounds perfect. How about coffee this weekend? Lily responded quickly, It's a date. As Michael prepared for their next date, he felt a sense of calm. He realized that the success of a date wasn't about grand gestures or perfect plans, but about genuine connection and effort. He met Lily at a cozy cafe, and they spent hours talking, laughing, and enjoying each other's company. Over time, their relationship grew stronger. They went on many more dates, each one filled with its own set of adventures and surprises. Michael continued to be the hopeless romantic, but he also learned to embrace the unexpected and find joy in the imperfections. Lily appreciated Michael's earnestness and determination, and their bond deepened with every shared experience. They navigated the roller coaster of their relationship with humor and grace, always finding a way to turn mishaps into memories. Months later, Michael and Lily found themselves back on that rooftop. Now, with fully functioning fairy lights and a perfectly timed fireworks display, they reminisced about their first date, laughing at the chaos that had brought them closer together. Remember when the fireworks went up during the dessert? Michael asked, chuckling. Lily nodded, smiling. How could I forget? It was a night I realized that perfection isn't about everything going right. It's about being with someone who makes everything feel right, no matter what happens. Michael took her hand, his heart swelling with love. I'm glad it was me who got to show you that. As the fireworks lit up the sky, Michael knew that he had found something truly special with Lily. Their journey had been filled with mishaps and misunderstandings, but it had also been filled with laughter, love, and unforgettable moments. In the end, Michael's performance as a hopeless romantic had anchored the comedic chaos of their first date, but it was his genuine love and determination that had won Lily's heart. Together, they embraced the roller coaster of life, knowing that their love was strong enough to weather any storm. And that's the end of this beautiful story. Guys, I know you all are lovers of interesting stories, and that's why I implore you all to check out Woge's Folktales for interesting folktale stories. I'll leave the link in the description box and comment section below. <laughs>